Hello there guys, and welcome to this episode of Go Inkscape. Today, what I'm going to show you is how to use Inkscape to design an advertisement for websites. The size I'll be using is commonly referred to as a medium rectangle, and it's a, one of the most common sizes used by big companies like Google AdSense. Let me show you what that dimension is. Let's go to File and Document Properties. The width of the medium rectangle ad is 300 by 250 pixels. And you'll see that it does create a slight rectangle. And this is one of the most common ad sizes. So this is what we'll be using to create our advertisement. Now, one of the most important parts of an ad is to have a call to action. I'll be designing a button. Those seem to work very well. To get started on my button, I'm going to go to my rectangle tool. Let's go ahead and draw ourselves a little rectangle there. I'm going to go up to fill and stroke so I can edit my style. Now, I don't think I want to stroke just yet, but for the fill, we're going to do a gradient. So select your base color first. That looks good. And then I'm going to go a linear gradient. Now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of adjust those there. I'll select this one and drag the alpha up. And then let's make the top just a little bit lighter. Perfect. That looks good. And still with the rectangle tool, I can also grab this node and drag it down a little to make it rounded. All right, it's already looking a little more button-like. Now I think I am ready for a stroke though. Let's go ahead and maybe I'll use the dropper. That looks pretty good. Now I'll just need to shrink it up a little bit. Probably just one pixel. Very subtle. Should do the trick. All right, that looks good so far. Now the next part I want to do is add some sort of text, something engaging for the audience. If I was designing one for Go Inkscape, which is Inkscape tutorials, I'd want to do something about learning probably. So I'm going to do something like start learning. And for the font, I'll be using Poetsin 1. Perfect. Now I can resize this and place it on the button. There we go, that looks pretty good. I definitely don't want it black. I'm going to turn it white. That looks pretty good there. But I want to align this to the button as well. So I'm going to go to Object and Align and Distribute. What I want to do is select this and then hold Shift and select the button. Then I can go to Relative to and Last Selected. And then I'll just go ahead and align these on the vertical and horizontal axis. All right, that looks good. Another little touch I want to do is add a little drop shadow on this text. So I'm going to go up to Filters, Shadows and Glows, and Drop Shadow. I'm going to check Live Preview so I can see what I'm doing. So right now it looks pretty good, but I actually want the drop shadow to be on the top. So for the vertical offset, I'm going to go ahead and select negative one and hit enter. Now the blur color, all I have is just a black with the alpha slightly turned up. So it's a little transparent. I'm going to hit apply and show you what that looks like. There, that looks pretty good. It kind of makes the text pop out a little bit more. Now I also want to add a drop shadow, the same drop shadow, to the button. So I'll do the same thing, filters, shadows, and glows, and drop shadow. Except this time, I do want it below. So I'll change this back to 1. And I'll hit apply, we'll be good to go. And there's our call to action button. Now also at this point, I have my logo on hand, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste that. And I'm going to combine these with the button here. So I think these go well together. And since brand recognition isn't so important for me right now, I can go ahead and make this a smaller part of the advertisement. We can go ahead and resize these later, but I just wanted to get them all on the canvas here, and we can just set them aside. What we should start doing now is start portioning off the ad with background colors. I'm going to go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and just start drawing some sections here. Now what I want to do is go to Fill and Stroke and give this probably a dark gray color, something like that. Now I'll go ahead and just get rid of the stroke. So this will be the top part of my ad that has some of the text on it. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and then drag it down a little, grab the dropper, and I'm going to select my blue color. Then I can hit the end key and put it behind. Just a quick way to add a little blue accent there. Looks pretty good. 
Now what I want to do is also zoom out to 100% to see the sizes here. Looks like, looks like the size of this might be pretty good. I should go ahead and group these together by hitting Control G. So far that looks pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and shrink it. Now I'd like to start adding some text on the top portion. I'm going to grab the text tool and start typing out what I want. The message I had in mind is Inkscape is free. But I'm going to do these separately. I want just one Inkscape with the font as the same, Poetson. And I'll go ahead and let's give this a uh, kind of a light gray color. I'm going to copy and paste this just so I can keep the styling. And then I want free. I'm going to go ahead and make this color the blue. So now I want this, I think we're going to do these all centered here. So I'll go back to align and distribute, and I'll actually do relative to page, and we can go ahead and center them this way. And since free is quite the uh, selling point, I want to make sure this is huge. Now go ahead and center that as well. Now I want to add another message under this to complete it, so let's see. Now, learning it is two. Perhaps we'll do separate lines for these. There we go. And I'll go up to my line to center. And the spacing is a little much. Let's go ahead and turn that down. There we go. And I'll shrink it down a bit. And it looks like it should fit right in there. That would be nice. Now, I also want to make this text white. Good, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, let's make sure I center this as well. Might as well make it perfect. And now, I should probably make sure this is centered. There we go. Alright, it's looking pretty good so far. I think I want to add a little bit of a background behind the, uh, the button portion. I'm going to go ahead and hit end. And let's go to fill and stroke. I think I like the white, so let's do just like a light gray gradient or something. There we go. I'll select this one, put the alpha all the way up, and let's make the bottom part a little gray. There we go. I think that adds a nice subtle touch there. And I think one last thing I wanted to do was let's select all of this here. And let's go to filters, shadows and glows, and drop shadow. And I want to go ahead and add that same shadow that we had before. I'm going to do the negative one. All right, I'll go ahead and hit apply. And it added on a pretty nice touch there. It's Again, it's subtle, but it makes it pop a little bit more. All right, I think this should be a pretty good advertisement so far. I'm going to export this and see what it looks like. Remember, we don't just make videos, you can head over to GoInkscape.com for daily tips and tutorials exclusively for Inkscape. Thanks for watching.